This is a quick demo of an automated flight scheduling system. Typically, the scheduler will come in, see how the flights are going for a given day. Today, we had bad weather in the morning, so we had to cancel the morning waves, and then we can start to see the execution of the schedule right here. Come in, take a look at what the students are up for. Say we start with Midshipman Anderson here. Make sure he hasn't got any SNVs in this system for the day. Figure out who his partner and his awning instructor are, as well as the plane type he flies. And then we'd come in and create a student sortie for him for the next day. So for the 28th, he should be with his on-wing aim because he's flying C2, which is an on-wing event. And we'll have them brief at 7.30, take the plane at 8.30, and say return it by 10. This is for Anderson on a C2. It's a 1.0 hour event, and with brief and debrief included, he should be two hours of instruction time total, and that is a Cessna. So we'll create the event. So we've got one event created. Fantastic. This event, however, depends on is C1 actually executing. So if that C1 gets canceled or he fails for some reason, we have to go back to the drawing board and edit the event so that we can get the correct information in there. Once we've got it done for him, we get to do it another 70 something times, the rest of the students that we've got in the program. The new way to do it, we come in, we check the weather for the subsequent day, we take a look at the waves that we're planning on flying. Typically, we fly with five waves, but we could fly with really as many as we'd like over any time periods that we like. By default, we weight the morning waves earlier and the evening waves less. But if we had bad weather scheduled for the morning, we would change that so that we moved events away from time periods when there's bad weather. We then run the schedule. It's building the model right now. The first thing it does is it checks to see if it can schedule all of the students, and if it can't, it outputs a report describing why it can't schedule the students that it hasn't been able to schedule. It then optimizes the schedule, trying to fit in as many events as possible, particularly those for students who have a higher priority level, and then it brings up our new flight schedule. We've got 68 students scheduled, it's got the students with the correct partner, with the correct on-wing, on the correct plane, during a time period when the students, the on-wing, and the plane are all available, and it's got the correct event. So Strawn is up for a C3 tomorrow. That's correct. The fantastic thing with this is that if flights get canceled, people fail, it's very easy to just rerun it and get a new optimized schedule rather than having to make hand changes that might result in us getting less events than we would otherwise. Thanks.